Thanks for tuning in to this video weather briefing. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist at the National Weather Service in San Diego. Here we'll take a look at the recent precipitation across the region, February 22nd and 23rd, and then the next storm system expected towards the end of the month. Here are the rainfall and total precipitation reports across the region here. This is based on rain gauges only. You can see most of the region saw precipitation that was fairly significant, at least a quarter inch to a half inch for the coast and inland valleys. Across our mountains, much higher amounts observed between one to two inches with our wetter locations all the way from the San Diego Mountains up to the San Bernardino Mountains receiving two to two and a half inches of new precipitation. Even a little bit spilled over into our deserts as shown here, especially across the high deserts. Snowfall, snowfall was confined to areas above 5,000 feet. In most locations, you had to get up to about 6,000 feet in elevation. In the areas from Mount San Jacinto, anywhere from one to three inches of snow. When you went up to Big Bear, it ranged from two inches all the way up to five to six inches around Big Bear, including the ski resort. You go across the central part of the San Bernardino Mountains, and we saw anywhere from four to six inches of new snow. And out in Mountain High area in Mount Baldy, those were the winners with anywhere from 7 to 10 inches of new snow. Here's what it looked like regionally, precipitation across southwest California. Pretty much the southern half of California, I-80 south was where you drew the line on any precipitation. Fairly significant precipitation of 1 to 2 inches in the mountain regions. And basically a quarter to half inch in the valleys and deserts. Precipitation extended all the way across into southern Utah and southwest Colorado as shown here. How are we doing so far since October 1st? Well this precipitation does help but we still fall short 50 to 75 percent of normal for most of extreme southwest California. Much less in our deserts where very little precipitation even where they're supposed to have it has occurred. The wettest locations are our mountain regions, which are running a little bit closer to normal, and in some locations just above normal, as shown in the green shades. Well, will we get additional rainfall? It looks like in our seven-day outlook here, precipitation is expected to return to most of California, this time being a little more widespread. And we can see here for Southern California, additional rainfall that is expected. What's going to bring that extra rainfall from the next storm system? It looks like it's going to be a similar weather pattern. High pressure won't leave. That upper level high pressure that's blocked most of our storms will shift to the west. It will allow for a storm track to go up and over it and then carve across California as shown here. Looks like this is going to be towards the end of the month on February 28th. Thanks for watching this video. You can tune into Weather.gov San Diego for more information. Always check the latest hazards on the link above. Follow us on Twitter and follow us on Facebook for additional information. Thanks for tuning in.